now what in previous tutorial we have learned about models and rails so we are going to continue with uh, like uh, further development how to develop our application in rails so we had created a model in rails and basically you can type here so i have started already started my server i'll uh, show you how to uh, like uh, you can type rails server to start your server and instead of server you can type rails console so it will open interactive shell on your rails machine okay so and here you can start your server rails server so i have opened the console here so that it gives you a better view and we had made post dot connection so we had made a model post dot connection and you can now press control plus l and then you can print post so it gives you the data structure what we are following in the post so it has an id integer title string description text created at date time and update at date time so we uh, so this is how we i showed you few operations in the last video of hostel what we can perform now let's this is our server and let's uh, now let's move with some like something uh, new to this uh, edition uh, now what you can do you can move to bootstrap website and i can click here open into tab and this would guide me to the bootstrap website i can refer to this page and here what i can do uh, uh, what i can do i can move to forms and and uh, i can refer to forms and what i can do here is uh, click on overview then click on like this an overview and this would give you like you will have different things of forms here uh, then you can click on like form control so you can move to this page and you can copy this let's copy this uh, let's copy this and let's paste this inside we have a, a few files let's paste this on index.html and let's print uh, let's paste this paste this here and then the application let's refresh this so basically now we have a form here okay so this forms looks pretty big so what we can do we can try to small it down and for this we can add this give this class as call call md6 to take the width of 6 and and let's uh, give it a class of call md6 so okay so nothing to this so let me inspect this element and yeah so we hit yeah so i have this div class is called call md6 and this should work i think okay so let's let's make another div let's make another div div and let's wrap this inside this div yeah and let's this give this div a class of call md6 because bootstrap has a total width of 12 columns we are asking it to take a width of six columns let's okay it doesn't work either now and let's give it a call six Okay, I forgot to like close the tag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now it works perfectly fine. Uh, and then you can give style of margin uh, zero auto. So this would place this inside the center. Okay, so this should work perfectly fine. Yeah, and you can like this is perfectly fine. And inside our header. Uh, let's create instead of header let's give this a to do to do app and let's give this a to do app and we can like now everything looks perfectly fine and we are good to like so yeah so this is good okay so yeah so now we try to create a to do app here from now and this is example email address now let's modify a few things so that we can uh, operate on them so instead of this let's give this a title and here if we give this a title name is equal to title so here we give it a name as a title and here we give this a name okay the name should the input type is equal to text so let's give the input type is equal to text okay i'll try to close this yeah yeah so so this is 
this is the input type is equal to text and let's give this a name is equal to title and here we have a text area let's give this as a name is equal to text area okay so this is, looks good so this is how we have created so this is title and and this is basically for us this means description so we will give this as a description and and this is here we also type it as description okay so description is good yeah so let's and uh, we remove this and we need to wrap this everything inside a form okay and let's close this here So let's yeah so we need to wrap this inside a form yeah so this looks pretty good yeah so fine so so this is like a kind of a footer for us this is like a kind of header and so we need to like this is how we define this so this looks good so we have made some boilerplate a front end for our app and instead of email you should change this to text okay and now uh, we create a method for this method is equal to post and yeah so let's refresh this so good so we have made this method is equal to post and let's create an action is equal to add okay let's create this to add so action is to slash add and uh, so this should work fine and so let's create a so since like we have created this or created this response so let let's create this uh, this uh, action which takes a post request and give it a slash add and let's create something as this two is equal to root hash add okay and let's create a okay one thing you need to make sure that you need to add token tag here because a post request request needs a csf rf token and you need to define token underscore tag here and you can now close this tag and this is looks perfectly fine so let's refresh this page so yeah good now we need to define a post request inside a controller so that is define add and that is end and render json params is the same thing we are going to do here and inside a form we need to define uh, like a button so let's define a button so let's click this uh, same class if class is equal to mb3 and let's create a, a button input Let's create a button. Yeah. yeah. So let's create a button. Input type is equal to text. Class is equal to BTN. BTN primary. And let's yeah. So it's a good good and we can remove this placeholder because this is not needed we can move this placeholder okay we can move this placeholder id is also not needed okay okay id is needed and because id is equal to needed because let's give, give this to uh, title id and let's give to this is this a description id description id and we need to like wrap this description id here because this is works on id and this is text id so like a good amount of changes has been done let's refresh this and yes so this is between between primary and a value should be add okay and let's give a style is equal to display block okay and it should be done yeah 
so yeah so this is a button I add and let's give a display block and margin 0 auto because margin 0 auto will align this button to center okay so let's give this yeah and refresh yeah so this looks perfectly fine so like in this tutorial we created all the like part needed to like perform this operation and so so thank you everyone for watching this tut tutorial i'll catch you in the next tutorial so like you can go over this video like because it was needed to necessary to set up this bootstrap form so in the next tutorial we will like see how we can form other operations thank you everyone